Hello, my name is Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on an inside and outside full video tour of this 2013 Thor Motor Coach Daybreak 28PD. Now, Thor Motor Coach is a joint company of two companies before that. It was Damon Motor Coach and Four Winds. The Four Winds and Damon merged and became Thor Motor Coach. But this one was designed on the Damon side, which is the more high end of the product line. And the Four Winds were the cheaper stuff. So this is a really nice motorhome. It's a daybreak. And this video is kind of long because I'm going to get into detail and show you all about it inside and out. Starting with, this is a 28 foot floor plan. So it's actually not any longer than the C-Class motorhomes that look easy to drive, but are not really easy to drive. This one is super easy to drive because it's just like a big uh, UPS truck. It's a short length, it's 28 foot floor plan. So you can probably fit it at your home. You don't have to rent a big storage somewhere. This one, the previous owner kept it in indoor storage and I think I have a picture right here to show you of it in storage at their house. They kept it under fully covered storage. So it looks really fantastic. The paint and everything is perfect. It's a very luxurious model. You know, a lot of the shorter motor homes are built on the cheaper like a Thor Ace or, you know, little Mercedes, which are really small, or they're just uh, like uh, C class, but this is a big A class. It's actually easier to drive than the ones with the van front end. It's a lot easier to drive. It has a very tight turning radius, so it can make a U-turn in a cul-de-sac or an intersection. Because of the short wheelbase, you can make U-turns where most other RVs cannot, and especially not the C-Class. This is an A-Class, got to emphasize that. So it's got two big slide outs. This is your main uh, living room slide out, and then it has a bedroom slide out. It has the big bus style cargo compartments. And it's got the big 5,500 watt generator gonna open this one and I'll go and I'll show you these are full pass-through on four of the compartments actually I three of the compartments are full pass-through uh, yeah three this one this one and the rear you can pass fishing poles or long items skis all the way across to the other side picnic tables it's got the big v5 towing package so you can tow a car behind or a big trailer full of your ATVs and or boat or something. You tow a boat behind this, you won't even feel it. And talking about towing, because it's a short 28 foot floor plan, it's a lot more maneuverable with the trailer. Because if you think, the longer the RV plus a trailer, you're getting really long, but this is a shorter one. It's not that much longer than a pickup truck. So you could tow your big long 20 foot boat or your big old trailer and tow it out to the wilderness and go have some fun. So it's a very, uh, or just tow your car behind. This is a perfect one if you just want to see the country, see the United States. A lot of times when you go with the longer motor homes, it's a little bit hard to park in national parks and state parks, but this one is short enough at a 28 footer. I mean, the Mercedes Benz, they're like 27 foot floor plan, some of them. This is one foot longer. But it's a bigger, more spacious, more luxurious motorhome than those smaller C-Class. In any case, this one, we're going to talk about it in detail before we go inside. This has the uh, Michelin tires. All six tires were replaced. They're not the original 2013 tires. These are actually very good tires. They're not cheap for these big Michelins and they're really nice. The tire tread is really thick. Now later in the video, we're gonna go on, take a peek underneath and we're gonna look up on the roof. But uh, 
we don't want to make it too too long this one has a big one piece front windshield so that means there's no center bar so you have outstanding visibility when you're driving into the rocky mountains or the national forest or along the coast along a beach somewhere you can you can view the uh, scenery right out your giant windshield it's very cool so these are the bigger bus style cargo doors you know if you look at some motor motorhomes they just take a, a router and they cut out a little oval and make it into a cargo door but these are the big bus style cargo doors it goes all the way across this one has power connection and TV connection so you can put your outside television on your picnic table outdoors and it doesn't have to stay outside you know so you don't have to worry about somebody stealing it some of the TVs with outside t some of the RVs with outside televisions they put them right here but then you're always thinking is somebody gonna steal my TV am I gonna open that up and it's gonna be gone and most of the outside TV compartments have the same key fits all of them so it's not unrealistic to think something like that would happen all right talking about the power awning before we go inside let's open the door this has a double power step and that step can stay out if you want right here on the inside is your power awning switch easy to access so just wind it up retract your awning it's very easy to put the awning in and out and there is a height adjustment I don't have to put the awning all the way in but I'm going to show you there's a little push tab here you push this little tab and you can it goes into these other holes you put it up here the awning height is lower you put it down here the awning height is higher and the reason you would do that if the sun is coming in from the opposite side and you put the awning higher you have a lot more shade but if the sunning sun is coming in on this side and you put the awning lower you'll have more shade so that's the point of an adjustable height awning power awning seems to be a very good one there's your floor plan by the way I've had the Damon Daybreaks before back in 2007 Damon was a was its own company and they are highly regarded for building high-end luxury coaches they've done really well for themselves they su su survived the economic crisis of 2008 and they became a much stronger company as they became Thor Motor Coach integrating the other brands they've also acquired Jayco and now they build about 25% of the, all of the motorhomes on the road so they're one of the biggest companies in the business they're doing quite well so now let's go take a look inside the 28 PD Daybreak motorhome as we walk in we have the slides open very nice spacious front room for a short motorhome this has a lot of room in it a lot of space we can walk straight back with a lot of room to the rear bedroom area so this RV has a walk around queen bed and when I say walk around not all RVs can you walk around the bed especially the smaller C-class there's a lot of room we can walk all the way around to both sides of the bed so that you can get into bed or get out of bed without waking up or climbing over somebody else there's wardrobe storage above the bed here a lot of room in the over the bed cabinets and then you've got speakers over the bedroom here you've got bedroom AC front AC two big powerful air conditioning units so that you're always going to be comfortable there's a desk seating kind of like a van mirror vanity area here in the bedroom and these are nice high quality wooden 
drawers. It looks barely used at all. Look how clean it is in that drawer. Safe place to put your clothes. Hanging wardrobe closets. And then this uh, has an extra foam topper mattress. It's got little side pockets to store your gizmos on both sides of the bed. Reading lights over the beds. So you can turn these on and off. These are all LED lighting in here. And you've got a little window so you can look out and watch the birds in the morning. And the mirrors in the wardrobe area make it larger, more open and spacious feeling inside. You have a genuine wooden privacy door. If you look at other RVs, they may only have a little flimsy curtain or nothing at all for privacy to the bedroom area. It's a nice big bedroom on this motorhome. Sets it apart. Short enough to fit in all the cool places, but big enough to fit you inside. In the kitchen area here, we have an actual oven. Some RVs don't have an oven. because Why is it important to have a gas oven? And you've got a microwave oven, of course. But the gas oven for some RV users is a big deal because if you go to state park or national park campgrounds where there's no plugs or hookups, they call it primitive camping, they usually have a generator restriction hours. You can't use a generator after 8 p.m. And so having gas appliances is really helpful. This has a brand new uh, kitchen faucet here. Now we're in the parking lot. Brand new kitchen faucet. This is a really nice pull down unit here. And this is brand new. We had to change it because we didn't like the one that was in here. You've got a stainless steel sink. You know, if you look at different RVs, some of them have plastic sinks, but this is a genuine stainless steel sink. And you've got nice bright LED lights over the kitchen so you can see what you're doing. And notice how large is the countertop space so you can actually work in the kitchen. On a short floor plan motorhome to have a large kitchen, that's also a special nice feature. Over here you've got the horseshoe dinette. So you've got one, two, three seat belts there, four or five. So seat belts for five people in the motorhome. And of course, this pedestal comes out and the table goes down and this turns into a bed. So I've pulled out the cushion and made the bed the dinette into a bed so you can visualize it. It's a really nice, comfortable, playpen looking bed that two people, maybe one or two, could sleep here. But if you notice, there's enough room that you could inf install a inflatable like an Intex air bed on the floor as well. So you have additional floor space where people could sleep. So you've got a lot of room in here. Maybe it's just two of you, maybe it's three, maybe four, or even five could sleep in the RV. As we go over to take a look at the refrigerator, we've got the absorption style RV refrigerator. These are very energy efficient. So you can go park in the, in the desert or by the beach somewhere for a week and this won't run your battery down because it uses propane and 12 volt power to cool the refrigerator and next to the refrigerator you have the the durable dry goods pantry shelving area and pantry doors drawers that you can pull out here additional storage over the dinette storage over the front you've got a lot of storage in this motorhome storage over the door entry door here Previous owner installed a little wine glass rack here, so if you're a connoisseur of wine, you have a nice secure place to keep your wine glasses. There's a second privacy door that separates the shower area from the rest of the motorhome. So if you were going to change your clothes, you could just close that wooden door and even without blacking out the windows. It does have full wraparound curtains. These are the pleated curtains. They wrap all the way around the front. And up on the dash here, you have a dash mat to keep the sun off your dashboard. 
So we're taking this uh, daybreak motorhome for a little test drive around. See how good it can maneuver in the parking lot here. Now when I make a right turn, I can watch my mirrors. I have excellent visibility from the mirrors. We're gonna drive into, make a couple U-turns, see how it does. See how tight can this U-turn. So we're gonna line up with these parking spaces. And then we're gonna go full U-turn. I got my mirror over here. So when you're driving, you watch your wide mirror to see how close your tire gets to the, the curb. And then we could back it into a parking space over here. Maneuver around this light pole right here. I'm holding the camera with one hand. We have a backup camera. So if you can see the backup camera view there. Or you can back up across watching the mirrors into a parking space. It does have overhang over the rear tires. But using the backup camera I can see for backing into a parking space. When you want to make a left turn there's a side view camera for the left side view. It comes on with the turn signals. There's a right side view camera as well and then the backup camera. But these wide view convex, get my camera in the right angle here, wide view convex mirrors are really helpful to see how you're making your U-turns. This one has a very tight turning radius. So it's very maneuverable, very good visibility. See how you could see down the side of the RV with those mirrors properly adjusted on both sides. I could see right down. I'm going to put the camera over here and I'm going to parallel park next to the curb. If you can see my mirrors over there, it might be small because it is a wide angle mirror. Good back up using the backup camera and they have great visibility I can see right down the side of the motorhome and I can see behind me for backing nobody's behind me so we're right next to the curb let's go take a peek see how our parking is and then you wait for the steps to open up perfect parking job. You're within 18 inches of the curb, probably about 8 inches of the curb. So it's no problem to drive and maneuver. This RV supports full auto or semi-auto leveling. I'm going to do a semi-auto. I prefer myself to semi-auto level because you can use the jacks in more places without raising the tires off the ground. That's the manual button over there. And then you have the four diamonds. So the lowest side is illuminated because it's on the left. So I'm just going to press and hold. And the coach is going to level itself left to, to right level. And it's going to stop automatically once it's reached the left to right even point. Then I can raise the fronts if I want. But... Uh, I'm just going to lower the jacks down on the right till they touch so it won't rock back and forth. 
the reason why you would do this is this is a more extreme slope and on a more extreme slope you never want to lift your tires off the ground your rear tires are your parking brake and your front tires you just don't want to have them raised up off the ground so semi-auto leveling is a great advantage but if you're on a relatively flat level spot you can do full auto leveling and it will be fine but if it's if it's a more significant slope then use semi-auto so as we look at different motorhomes you know the size is everything a small easy to drive motorhome as we go back here there's a linen area next to the shower where you have a place to keep your bath towels and so forth keep all your linens in there and then your restroom is on the opposite side here you have a genuine porcelain toilet mirrored med medicine cabinet uh, all LED lighting like I said you have a bathroom fan and our housekeeper has come through and cleaned everything everything has been professionally cleaned by a housekeeping service sanitized it so the kitchen and the bathroom have all been professionally clean cleaned so here's your microwave nice and clean and over here I have a very large shower and a tall height the ceiling height is pretty tall in here so as I come into the shower I'm 5'11 and I have a lot of height so even if you're like uh, six six five you probably fit in the shower no problem You've got that nice skylight over the shower You've got little racks to keep your soap little soap dishes over here is your control center you've got your level tests to check all your your levels your slide for the rear slide for the front interior lights on and off and I'm reminding you these are LED lights so what's the big deal about LED lights so previously you know when these RVs were sold they used to give you the old light bulb just an ordinary light bulb but those draw a lot of power down so they're pretty harsh on the batteries but these LED lights are very easy going on the batteries that they don't waste a lot of electricity from the batteries and so if you dry camp you can dry camp much longer so there's two TVs in this RV you've got your main TV here in the front area which is flush into the wall and then you have the bedroom TV which is, you can right now we're in the parking lot and we're picking up 120 channels of free over-the-air broadcast a little bit later I'm gonna go up on the roof I'm gonna show you the antenna it's got an aimable antenna that helps pick up these over-the-air broadcasts. I'll show you the control for it right here. So it has a signal strength indicator, which helps you to dial in your antenna strength so you can aim the antenna to get the better signal strength so you can get more channels. And uh, it's a boosted signal, so it's got power. So makes it easy to pick up channels all over the place when you get to your campground you go in the TV menu and you auto tune for the correct uh, channels in the floor this is a in-floor heating system so little heater ducts in the floor so the heat comes up and the air conditioning comes down both ACs work ice cold it's a very nice setup we're gonna go up to the driver's seat we're gonna talk about a few things about the driver's seat before we do I'm putting the bed up here and I'm going to take a look underneath here now there is a table that goes up in the front and this is the cushion which turns your dinette into a bed that's stashed here in the front so you have storage under the bed in addition to the storage outside Let's go take a look at the driver's seats. Now, all the upholstery in here is in perfect, like brand new condition. No problems. 
we actually redid the front seats in here so the dinette upholstery is in excellent condition is done with a Thor style two-tone uh, interior so it's very elegant looking these are really nice comfortable seats for your taking your long trips they do swivel swivel around so you can join in the conversation so if you do have five people on board they can join in the conversation when you're at the campsite. So plenty of uh, seating area. I'm gonna take you on a daytime drive in a few minutes and show you how easy it is to drive. Start up and show you a few things. We have the generator on. There's a generator running light. Generator's on right now and I wanna put my glasses on so I can tell you how many hours are on the generator it has. 449 hours on the generator you've got an auxiliary start button this is like a jump start switch auxiliary start you've got heated mirrors you've got dash fans you've got an underhood light and ICC flash this is the flash to pass when you click this your parking lights blink on and off You've got cup holders all around, little cell phone holder on the side here. Power mirrors. Not all of the big motorhomes have power mirrors, but this one does. The current odometer reading is 20,731 miles on the odometer. And this is on the Ford F53 chassis. It has a system check and it has tow haul mode. Tow haul mode is a really big deal. When you're driving up into the mountains, you can use tow haul mode but it's really helpful when you're coming down out of the mountains because when tow haul mode is on and you step on the brake the transmission will do automatic downshifting for you to reduce your use of the brakes coming down out of hills in a minute we'll show you the leveling jacks um, and then your headlight switch is the twisty knob and then right here is your dimmer control so if you buy this motorhome and you forget how to turn on the light this little rotating knob turns on your your overhead light so when you pull over and to check your map you can click the light at super easy or adjust your dimming control on the dash here you got a little power point there additional cup holders and then the passenger seat swivel it around and it locks into position beautiful coach so we're going to run the slides in, put it into travel mode, slide controls. Now in order to use the slides, the engine has to be off. I did start the engine, so I have to turn it back off. So when you use the leveling jacks, the engine has to be running. It's required. However, to use the slide outs, you need to first make sure the seats don't interfere and then the engine is off. Right now we have the generator running. I recommend having the generator running, but it's not required. Unless you've run your batteries low, then it is recommended. Or if it's been parked for a long time. Slide works very smoothly, it comes right in. The front slide is the same thing. Just running it in nice and smooth. Now even with the slide all the way in, we have plenty of room here to pass through here no problem you can walk from the front to the back you could even sleep in this one with the slides closed if you found it necessary that's no problem all right take a look we've gone through and resealed all the joints on the roof to make sure that you don't have any water leaks now or in the next coming years 
This one has weatherproof vent covers. And I mentioned this is a 50 amp coach. It has 50 amp land power. So you have these weatherproof vent covers. That means the vents inside can stay open even if the wind is blowing, the rain is falling, the snow is falling. So this is the bathroom vent and that's the kitchen vent. The advantage is you have fresh air circulating through the coach. Sometimes you won't even need to use the air conditioner. You just leave your roof vents open and uh, you're good to go. You've got awnings over the slide outs. These are called topper awnings and they keep rain from getting into the coach. They also keep, when you park under a nice tree with squirrels and birds in it, and they start throwing acorns at you, they'll just roll off the side. And if you're in a snow blizzard, and then when you put the slide in, the snow will just go off the side. You don't have to climb up and sweep off the top of the slide out. So all the vents have these weatherproof vent covers. You have these dual high performance roof air conditioners and you have the big King television antenna. So this thing will pick up hundreds of channels over the air free broadcast and it works really good with the HD TVs inside. The roof was resealed so you don't have any chance for open cracks or gaps. Your power awning is retracted right now but the awning looks to be in great condition. So, your skylight and your bedroom slide out, the awning fabrics look good. Like I said, this coach was covered in the covered parking area. So we're gonna go take a look underneath this coach. So as we look underneath, we see the 80 gallon fuel tank tucked underneath and then leveling jacks in perfect condition. These are your Michelin tires. They're all, six tires are recently replaced Michelin. Look how much tread depth there is. These are not cheap tires. They're in very good condition. And underneath, it's not rusty or corroded. This is a California, Arizona coach. It's not been in the snow where they use salt in the roads. Look, all your tires are these nice Michelin. These are actually very expensive tires. It's it's more than $2,500 for a set. They're almost uh, $500 a piece to buy these. So they're very good quality tires. They help the coach drive nice and straight. I actually drove this from Vegas to California. And it worked really good. Underneath, again, you see all four leveling jacks. They're not leaking. The drive shaft is not all rusty and corroded. And you've got these big, giant cargo doors and storage compartments excellent condition your tires even have little uh, connections so you can check the air pressure on the rear dual tires we have the generator running right now it's running it'll run for hours without a problem and then ending at the tow hitch which is rated to tow a 5,000 pound trailer so I'm wrapping up my video here this is the end I appreciate you watching I'm gonna include a little picture of the floor plan and the specific specifications see if this RV or if I have similar RVs available by going on my website my website is listed right here on the license plate frame my website is mybestcar.com go on mybestcar.com and check my vehicle inventory and see what's available now if you're gonna buy something from me and you want to know who to pay the check to you're gonna pay it to the order of a buyer's choice thank you for watching if you have questions about this RV and it's still available give me a call 951-681-2101 thank you for watching